DJ Hoshin. DJ Hoshin on the right. Um, this is a guy from uh, Jacksonville. I was talking to him. There's he and uh, he and two of his friends are the only three players in their city who play KOF, and that's all they play. These guys are dedicated KOF players. Um, they came out here, you know, like knowing they don't have a lot of experience. They came out here to learn, and uh, and yeah, you know, really, really chill people out here in Florida. Honestly, I've never seen the Hoshin play before, so I'm not oh, sure yeah. what DJ, to expect. You know, DJ Hoshin, uh, I've seen him play quite a bit, and uh, he really likes to play this kind of, I guess, an, uh, zoning, spacing kind of style. Like, he really concentrates on stand B with Kula. Okay. Uh, you know, Terry, same thing. He just uses these big normals to fill up space, and that's how he generally wants to approach his opponents, I think. All right, and I see the DJ Hoshin going with Kula, Terry, and Shen on um, a Sanker. And then we have some Raiden players here. Raiden. Nice. So right, go. his opponent's going with uh, uh, Raiden, Billy, and Mr. Karate. Uh, Mr. Karate, dude, I've seen a lot of Mr. Karate. I think everybody in Florida plays Mr. Karate, yeah. honestly. I've seen a lot of Mr. Karate. You know um, whose fault that is? That's SoCal's fault, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we popularized that SoCal. character. <laughs> no, but you know what? I think it's no secret that, you know, Mr. Karate's a little overpowered, and everybody sees that, recognizes that. Um, but the beauty of it is, though, I mean, even though he might be very, very good, uh, it's still, the, the kind of game it is is that skill will always trump who you pick. That is true. So let's see what happens right here with uh, DJ Hoshin. Yeah, and so. this other player's name is Bear, I just found out. Very appropriate name for a riding player. <laughs> Big Bear. Yeah, so far he's doing really well. Yeah, and like you were saying, uh, DJ Hoshin just focusing on the standing B on those pokes, trying to keep riding that up. Oh, not punishing that. Uh, EX rush is not safe, is it? No. Yeah. Okay, good stuff from DJ Hoshin. Nice with a combo completion there. It, yeah, it's got a minimal recovery, but it's not completely safe. Oh, we got Zerp on stage too. All right, Zerp and DJ Hoshin are homies. I th I'm sure Zerp is going to give him some advice. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Zerp. Uh, he unfortunately he didn't make it out of his pool, but you know he played extremely well. Yeah, Ooh, man. Billy Kane. Haven't seen much Billy Kane here in Florida. Looks like he's just going for the basic poking. DJ Hoshin going in. Big combo. combo. Oh, he but he drops it. it. Oh, what a shame! Because if he loses this, he's going to have no nice. Oh. Now, if oh. I was, yeah, good stuff. I was just going to say, if I was Bear in that situation, I don't know if I agree with that guard council CD just because now that DJ Hoshin has burned his HD, I would, if I was Bear, I would think, you know, conserve as much meter as possible. Okay. And, you know, just like get in there with a the big combo. Right now he has two bars full drive, which is good, but okay. three bars full drive would have been a lot more scary with Billy. Well, uh, you know, honestly, uh, Billy doesn't require a lot of meter. So two bars and a full drive, yeah, because this there is only he, the only thing he needs to go for, that EX up kicks. I see. Um, unless it's in the corner. Yeah, in the corner Three he gets meters. big damage, right? Yeah, but see, this is perfect. Two meters, full drive. As soon as you get him near the corner, go for the EX up kick, try to get him in the corner, and do the drive cancel. Oh, EX Buster Wolf, this should close out the round. Oh, no, no. he's still alive. Da oh, runs in a standing C. Yeah, again, that's, uh, you know, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. DJ Hoshin just controlling a lot of space with those, you know, really big, really, you know, just like normals that take up space. Really far reaching normals. Yeah, and some people think that there's no footsies in KOF. But, you know, the footsies and knowing how to use your normals, it's very, very important. Now, what what happened there? Why did um, Hoshin get a, a power geyser right at the beginning of the round? I don't know. I think he might have been going for EX uh, Fireball or something. Okay. It's hard to was, say. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of random. But this could still be a very good situation for Mr. Karate if he finishes off Terry. Ooh, unfortunately, he's not able to capitalize on that jump in. He's trying, to, Ooh, he's trying to keep him in the corner yeah, there. Rising Taco. Burn nice. Knuckle. Burn Knuckle. Beautiful. He baits the uppercut. This will be close to death. Nice. Drive cancel. EX super. Now Mr. Cloudy has four bars full drive. If I was him, I'd definitely be wanting to use this right now. Um, the, uh, you know, ah. he could have at least baited uh, uh, like a, a normal a crack shoot with the EX super. Yeah. That EX super has uh, invincibility on startup and it's really fast damage. I'm it's honestly kind of surprised that horrible. DJ Hoshin went for a crack shoot because, like, Mr. Karate could easily A uppercut uh -huh. in the EX Super. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, you know, it kind of tells you that DJ Hoshin, you know, is definitely himself. And his opponent is a little frustrated. Oh, he's changing his order. We have Mr. Karate on point this time, Billy Kane second, and riding third. Okay, let's see how this works out for him. And again, uh, one of the things that make Mr. Karate so good is the fact that you can put him anywhere in your position and your lineup. Yes. Either on point. Or as anchor, and he's still really good, really solid. Yes, Unlike definitely. some of the, uh, some characters who don't work so well 
on point or are not so good as anchors. Yeah, exactly. And and how that pans out really is that Mr. Karate, in any position, he can either build meter for the rest of your team or he can use meter. That is That's true. already been built for him. So yeah, Another thing is style. that um, he doesn't require much meter to, to land some good damage, though, because he can just go for the uppercut, just like he tried to go there, and he got baited, unfortunately. Uppercut, flying kick, super, that does at least 380. Yeah, man. It's so much damage. You know he does, uh, and even meterless, if he does, if he has one meter, no drive, he can do 450 damage mid-screen or anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So good. It's really good. So here we go. The Ahotian taking that very first, uh, that round very convincingly. Um, and in my opinion, he took out the problem, Mr. Karate. Yep. Now again, uh, Bear and uh, the other, uh, I believe it's Jacksonville players, you know, they don't have a ton of experience. And honestly, he's performing very well considering he's only ever played against two other people in KOF. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, like, I, shout out to all the new players getting into this game. The scene just seems to be getting bigger and bigger every every major we go to. So. That is true. Oh, and the Hoshin misses the uppercut there. Stand B. Nice use of the normals. Put them in the corner right away. One there. Yeah, I'd really like to see more 4A from Billy. Yeah, that, that exactly. That's what he needs to be doing right there. Because that 4A, if it times a little late, he will definitely be able to beat that standing B from Kula. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh yeah, it's uppercut. Ah, he's risky. He's read it. But yeah, he read it really well. It paid off for him. And oh, uh, DJ Hoshin in a position to get an OCB here. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, he's got the meter. He's got the drive. He can do it if he lands one combo. Nice Raiden has a ton of meter though. Ooh, late spin a little late. In this kind of situation, I'd really like to see two charged drop kicks. Here we go. Oh, he misses it. There's one. Ah, uh, he could have followed up with the X shoulder ram right there. Nice command and grab. Empty jump into command grab. Beautiful. Now DJ Hoshin had it there. He could have dealt a lot more damage. Well, this is still a very, very uphill battle for Bear. Uh, you know, DJ Hoshin's obviously. <laughs> Still coming in with two fully stocked characters. And we have Terry coming in for the A Hoshin. Not sure if he knows how to do an HD combo with Terry, but. Oh, he does. I've seen him do Okay, it. so if he's able to land that combo, he can pretty much uh, seal the match. Nice. nice down C. Yeah. Oh, goes empty jump, down beat, doesn't work. Cross up. Oh. oh. Land a little, hit him a little too high to follow up with a full combo, though. Both players, you know, taking their time, keeping their distance. They don't want to compromise. Oh, that's a very far-reaching shoulder tackle. Yeah, Hoshin. He's not good. Oh, oh, there you go. Rising, rising tackle. tackle. Wow. Uh, that was a little risky, man. Oh, yeah, good extraction. Good jab. Oh, again. DJ Hoshin does not care at I'm this thinking point. Bear was trying to go for the standing A into drop case. Yeah. Oh, the Ahotian goes for the guard break. No, ooh, oh. unfortunately, he missed the crack. I mean, the rising tackle. Good stuff. Oh, oh. but unable to follow up. He could have did like EX Super there or something. Nice. Look at the ooh, range. The range. Him, did he get him on the hop back or something? No, 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 that no. Was he, he just caught him on the ground. Whoa. Caught him sleeping. EX tackle. Do it again. Oh, good stuff. DJ Ahotian apparently not familiar with that move and not going for a punish. He could have gone for a rising tackle and punish it, but then again, it's a little risky there. Yeah. Uh, and like I was saying earlier, uh, recovery on that move, it's minimal. Definitely. Minimal. Now we got last character versus last character, but DJ Hoshin just needs one more hit. Here we go. And it's Shen, so she needs to trade. Sometimes, see, people look for a clean um, exactly. open for yeah, a clean hit. No, trade. sometimes you just yeah. trade, man. Trade. I'm one of those players, dude, that um, I see my uh, health as just another meter, man. If I'm able to trade, 